through my third quarter of massage therapy school right now. I thought I would do an updated how I study. Right now my classes are Monday, Clinic 2 online, Tuesday, AP3 online, Wednesday I have clinic in the morning, and then neuromuscular therapy in the afternoon, Thursday I have neuromuscular therapy. Kind of sounds like less, but actually is a lot more. Starting with anatomy and physiology 3. I use the same study method as I did in my second quarter video. Before class, I will take a look at my homework, see what types of questions it's going to ask, print the chapter outline, then I answer my homework in note form using the outline PowerPoint. After that's complete, I will sit through lecture, see if any questions come up that I may have not understood. Then. I will move everything over to my actual homework. I am not a lecture learner at all. This reinforcement method works best for me. Moving on to neuromuscular therapy. It's to my knowledge that this is considered a continuing education course. I will receive a separate certificate for completing and passing this class. Not all schools offer this within their program. I go through and fill out my study guides for each chapter. This week was over the shoulder girdle muscles, which I get a lot of trigger points in here, so I was super interested in this. Each muscle has a nickname. For example, infraspinatus is called the side sleeper's nemesis. After finishing the study guide, we get to do a treatment over the muscles that we covered in that chapter. Depending on what muscles you're working on or what the client's complaint is, you will do a postural analysis, check range of motion in the joint. Here's the soap note that we use for NMT. First, I'm doing a little posture analysis, having my client do some range of motion. She has some local pain in between her shoulder blades. I'm always suspicious of trapezius or rhomboids, which are a little deeper. She does have some nice big trigger points in there. After doing some myofascial release techniques and working her trigger points a bit, I incorporate Instrument Assisted Soft Tissue Mobilization, or IASTM. I absolutely love learning about these tools and how to incorporate them in massage therapy. I put a link for these tools in the description box if you want to check them out. Once the treatment is done, I will do a post range of motion, post postural assessment, and fill out the soap note. I hope you enjoyed this updated How I Study third quarter edition. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.